First, you're going to need a couple things. You need a tape measure, masking tape, scissors, squeegee, and something to clean the engine with, like alcohol, paper towel. All right. My 2005 Yamaha Four Stroke cowl heater. Just had it repainted. We're going to put some new decals on it. I'll show you how to do that now. Make sure you clean it really good. We want to make sure we get off all any adhesive residue, wax, grease, dirt, dust. This area is completely clean. You don't want anything getting between the decal and the cowling during application. It's using a alcohol and paper towel, but any degreaser type cleaning solution should work. All right. First, what we're going to do is we're going to tack up the decals onto the side of the cowl. Get some masking tape. Put it on the edges here. Just like that. And eyeball about where you want it to go. And just tack it up. Some decals tacked up in place. You can come back and adjust it according to how you want it to go. If you took measurements where your old decals were, you can match them to where your old decals were, or if you want to adjust them, or if you didn't take measurements, you can uh, Google a picture of where they were. Time lining them up. Make sure you're measuring to the bottom of the decal and not the bottom of the back paper. Let me go back here, check to make sure that. Two decals are level with each other. That's going to be important since it's on the engine. Okay, now that it's tacked up and aligned where you want it to go, can you need to apply it? We're going to use center hinge method. To do this, you just put a piece of masking tape right down the center of the decal vertically. We're going to take these edges here, the tape on the edges, and we're just going to cut it loose. And leave that piece there. That's going to be our reference point. Cut loose the backing paper and line the tape right back up to itself, just like that. Take your squeegee, work from the center out to the outer edges using even pressure.
overlapping strokes. So you've gone over the whole decal. And now we can take off the hinge. Cut this, this in. Peel off the remaining paper. And line the tape up again. And again, apply the decal with the squeegee. We can work out any bubbles that may form. And then slowly working your way inside out. And once you're done, you can remove the excess masking tape and the application tape. The best way to remove the application tape is slowly remove it and peel it back against itself. That way you're not putting any outward force on the actual decal and you can make sure that it doesn't come up during the application tape removal. Now since this decal is already lined up, we can move right onto this decal. Start on this end. Peel it back to the hinge. Cut loose excess paper. And then slowly come back to remove it. As straight as possible, and the tape right back up to the sub. Again, work the decal down. squeezing from the middle to the outer edges using even force and overlapping strokes. Okay. Remove the hinge, cut loose this outer edge. Sometimes you need to help it. You don't like how it's going down, you can always back up. Once you have it squeegeed the decal down, you should be able to lift it back up several times until you get it where you want it. Okay, now let's apply the front decal. First, clean it really good. The area with the decal is going to go really good because there's nothing on there. And now let's tack up the decal. This particular one is going to go somewhere right about there. Sure you have it centered. It's pretty good. Down a little bit. Up 
there. Good. Using the same center hinge method, go ahead and apply this one. Side down to remove the hinge. Sometimes you have to set up the trap edge again. application tape. 